How do I sell my TV show idea? Everyone asks this question, and I'm about to throw a bucket of water in your face. You want to sell your TV show idea, right? Well, guess what? No one cares what you want, not even your mom. She says she does, she doesn't really, okay? So you got to think about it the other way around. What does the studio or the network want? It's their money. What do they want? Well, to make a TV show costs a lot of money. A pilot could easily cost, on the low end, easily a million dollars. So who are they going to trust that kind of money to? Someone who's never done it before? That's nuts. I, you know, I would think they'd want to have someone with a lot of experience, someone who's been around the block, who's been on the set, who knows how to deal with problems that arise, right? If you were trying to build a house from scratch and you had a million dollar budget, well, who would you hire? Wouldn't you hire a, an architect or a builder who has a lot of experience, who knows how to handle all sorts of problems? Or would you go find the guy who's standing outside a Home Depot? Why not him? He's holding a hammer. He knows how to swing because you might hire him to be a worker on that project, but to be the boss. So the same thing. I recommend that you learn how to write a script and, and get your work your way up, you know, as a staff writer, work your way, learn the trade, you know, build some credits before you try selling a show. There's another way, though, uh, to do this. Uh, I, I would kind of call myself, I don't know, it's a weird thing to say, but kind of like a Hollywood insider. I've been doing it for 26 years. You would expect someone like me to be able to sell a TV show. That makes sense, right? But if you have no experience, there's another way. And that is to come in as a Hollywood outsider. And to be honest, the last three shows I worked on as a writer were created by Hollywood outsiders. The first one was Marin, an IFC. Mark Marin, years ago, was a comic who couldn't get work. He told his, he told his manager, hey, I'm going to start this podcast. And the manager's like, what? Why are you going to waste your time on that? This is before podcasts were a thing. He's like, how are you going to monetize on that? And Mark's like, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to create something great and figure it out later. And he did. He built up a giant audience from his podcast. Uh, and then because of that, IFC was like, hey, you got a big audience. Let's do a TV show together. Mark didn't have much experience in TV, so he hired me and my partner to be the showrunners. The next show was Rhett and Link's Buddy System. These were just two YouTubers who used to sit in, they were friends, they were buddies who used to sit in giant vats of oatmeal and say funny things. And they, they were charming and witty and they had a great presence. And they built up a giant following on YouTube to the point where YouTube says, hey, you want to make a sitcom? And they're like, well, we don't have much experience. So they hired me and my partner to be the showrunners of season two of that. Right. The last show, Tacoma FD, was created by uh, these, these comedians these, from a, a comedy troupe called Broken Lizard, friends from college. And they used to create these indie movies that they would figure out how to finance on their own. They hustled and they built a kind of like a cult following. And because of that, they were able to sell a show to True TV. So if you want to be a writer or create your own show, you have to bring more to the table than just your desire to make money. you got to bring more to the table. It's possible, though. For more tips, keep following me here. Get on my newsletter. I send it out every Friday for free. You can sign up with here. I got much more to say on this topic.